Hi, Bookmatic Lifelong Learners. In today's video, you're gonna learn a little bit about three mistakes you are probably making while you're reading nonfiction books. So let's get straight into it. All right, so the very first mistake that you are probably making is when you're reading the book and you are highlighting it, that's all you're doing. You're highlighting the book. Well, let me let, let me let you in on a little secret here. Just highlighting the book doesn't really help you remember. Yes, I mean, it's good to have highlights in the book because that means you can go back to the book at a later date and you can kind of use it as a place marker. Like we have a kinesthetic memory. When we read a book, we remember kind of like where the page was, uh, the certain point that we got the takeaway from. Uh, we remember that spot in the book. Um, but just doing that is not really gonna help you to remember or internalize or take action on that takeaway. So I do recommend still highlighting, but you wanna take it even a step further than that. You want to start internalizing. You want to start taking action on the major takeaways that will help you to uh, push forward and get better at what you read and get better at taking action. So don't just highlight. That's the first tip. Actually internalize and take action and revisit those highlights whenever you get the chance. The second one for today is not writing your own thoughts or questions down either in the margins margins or in the notebook or on a document so at the time of reading you should be writing your thoughts or your questions down right at the time of reading the reason why is because sometimes when we're reading something and we come up with a thought or a question and we continue reading that thought or question is going to slip away. It's going to disappear. Most of the time, like I've experienced myself whenever I'm reading and I come up with some sort of thought and I just continue reading, a uh, minute later, I forget what that thought was. So it's really important to take a few seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds out of your day, out of your time of reading and just write that thought down in a notebook or in the margin write that question down. That way you have reference to what's going on through your mind at the time of reading. And then you can study further after you get done reading, you can take that note and study deeper into what the question was or what the thought was. Uh, even a year later, when you revisit your book, you can see the types of things that you wrote in the margins and uh, you can discover more about uh, yourself in hindsight in the future, right? Okay. So that's the second thing is write your thoughts down immediately before they slip away. They might disappear forever if you don't write them down. And the very third tip here I have, or the mistake that you're making that you're not doing maybe is, uh, not doing reading reflections. I am huge on reading reflections. In fact, I've got a Facebook group where I do reading reflections almost on a daily basis. So reading reflections, what are those? Well, they help you to sort out your ideas and your, uh, your thoughts. They help you to internalize what you've learned. Uh, and let me explain a little bit further. So here's what I basically do step by step, right? So I'm reading a passage. I do my highlights. I do my marginalia. And then when I'm done reading, I go back through what I read during that day, during that session, and I take a look at the most important thing. Now, not every single time I read, I get an important thing, not every single time. So I don't do reflections every single time, but I do do reflections on the most important takeaways. The ones that I feel like, hey, how can I adapt this and put this in my life? So after I decide which one is most important, which one I want to go deeper in, into, 
uh, into reflections, into thoughts. So I take that particular quote, that particular highlight, and then I reflect deeper on it by writing maybe a 200 word short like essay, maybe 500, it could be even a thousand word little essay. And basically that helps to internalize the takeaway. I'm putting the quotes, words into my own thoughts, into my own words, uh, basically like a summary and a more of a deeper explanation about what I think that quote means and how I can apply it in my life. So reading reflections are huge. Reading reflections are probably one of the most important aspects when it comes to reading nonfiction books, rather than just going through the, uh, going straight through the book and then doing a summary. We do a summary on the most important takeaways every single time that we read and find a very juicy gem that we can apply in our life. So that is uh, uh, something that you can start taking and start applying in your life. And if you want a place to share these reading reflections, uh, I will include a link below to join my Facebook group, the Bookmatic Lifelong Learners. It's a book, it's a book club specifically made for people to do reading reflections on a daily basis. Uh, and you can share a photo of the quote and then write a reflection. It can be lo as long or as short as you want it to be. Uh, it takes only five minutes out of your day to prepare that post. So it's a quick and easy way to share with other people to help other people learn. Uh, so yeah, make sure you click on that link and then join the book club. It's free, it's open to the public and you can share anytime you want. You can see what other people are reading and you can get ideas for great books as well. It's a great, great community to be part of. So uh, that's all I have for today's video. Try to remember these three mistakes and try to correct them. That way you can become a better reader and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching everyone. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe for more videos like these. Also follow my other social media accounts such as Instagram, Facebook and Twitter for more valuable content. Thank you for watching again and I will see you guys next time.